All right, so welcome back. Um, in the last video, we figured out what the different moments were for um, each of the columns. And now we're going to figure out what the direct shear, auxiliary shear, and the total shear is. And then after that, we can figure out what our reactions are um, at joints A, B, and C. So for direct shear, remember, direct shear is when you assume the span is a simply supported beam. So we're looking here at span a, B. Let's pretend it's just a simply supported beam. We have two reactions here and here. And you also have this 16 kip. This is 4 kip per foot. And the length is 18. Okay, so I'm going to call this reaction left, this reaction right. So, um, you have 16 going down, and you're, you're going to add to that 18 times 4, and that's going to equal, let's see, 36. That's going to equal, I believe, 88. So that means, since this, this is all symmetrical, that means reaction L is equal to reaction R, and that's equal to 44. So each of the reactions are 44. That's what direct shear is. We assume that the span is just simply supported and that the reactions um, the reactions here are both 44 so in this column or this this box I'm gonna write 44 and then this box I'm gonna write 44 and they're both going up okay so for span BC well you only have um, oops you have let's see you have this, so for span BC, which is this span right here, you have four kips per foot going down of 20 feet, so that's uh, four times 20 is 80, so you have 80 going down, that means um, B and C are going to be uh, 40 going up, right? It's just a simply supported beam, that's what direct shear is. So here I'm going to write 40, here I'm going to write 40, and um, both of these are going up. And again, for here, uh, for span BC, we have 16 going down, then 4 kip per foot going down over 18 feet. Um, again, the reactions there are going to be 44 and 44. So 44, 44. And they're both going up. Now, the auxiliary shear is the sum of the moments on that member that we found. So this column right or this row right here you add those two together you divide by the length which gives you the magnitude and then you multiply by negative one to get the direction of the shear so 0 plus 164 so for span a b it'd be 0 plus 164 is 164 divided by the length um, and the length remember was 18 feet for span a b um, that's going to give us 9.13 on both sides, right? And since this is a positive value, uh, we if we flip the sign, it's going to be a negative. So negative shear, remember, is counterclockwise. So on the right side, it's going up. On the left side, it's going down. Okay? So for span BC, if you sum negative 164 plus 164, well, that's zero, right? So the auxiliary shear here is going to be 0 and 0, no direction, right? And on this side, it's negative 164.35 plus 0 is negative 164. Um, and you divide by 18, uh, you usually get 9.13, 9.13. And if you flip the sign um, for the sum of these moments, you're going to get a positive value. And positive shear, remember, is clockwise, right? So that means on the right side it's going down, on the left side it's going up. For total shear, you just add up the direct shear and the auxiliary shear. So 44 plus 9.13, but 9.13 is going down, so really it's 44 minus 9.13, and that's going to give you uh, 34.87, and that's going up, and then you have 44. Uh, plus 9.13 gives you 53.13. Here you just have 40 and it's going up, right? Here 
here you also have 40, it's going up. Here you have 44 plus 9.13. Um, that's going to give you 53.13 and that's going up. Uh, here you have 44 minus 9.13 gives you 34.87 and that's also going up. So, the reaction at now we sum the reaction or the shears at each joint. For joint A, you just have this 34.87 kips going up, right? But for joint B, you have this 53 plus this 40. Uh, that should give you 93.13. That's going up. For joint C, you have this 40 and you have this 53.13. So the sum of that is 93.13 and that's going up, all right? And then finally for D, you just have 34.87 going up. So these are the reactions. Let me actually just write these reactions up here so you guys can see. Uh, these reactions are here. A, A was the 34.87. Uh, at joint B, you had uh, 93.13 going up. And here you had 93.13 going up. Finally, at D, you had um, 34.87 going up. So these are the reactions at joints A, B, C, and D. And we, and in this problem, remember, we didn't have fixed end. We had a pin here, a roller on joint A and a pin on point D. All right, that helped.